everybody, welcome to my video. Look like, hey, does this industry have professional pieces for us? So if you like this, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and um, just like me in general and love me. To my huge channel everybody I know you were missing me how are you all doing today I have a little video for you where I want to talk a little bit more about streetwear uh, if some of you guys know me personally or you might have seen from my Instagram also I'm not the biggest fan of streetwear it's not because I just don't like it it's first of all because I don't like it but also because um, I'm just not that typical, extremely casual kind of person and if I have to dress, I like to dress like in real garments and fabrics and not like in sportswear because that's usually something I wear if I really have to, you know, if I hang around at home, of course, I do not sit there in my cashmere set or something, but I always wear, for example, a wool sweater and never a normal sweatshirt because I just don't like the fit and, you know, it's just something you have to deal with personally. So, um, yeah, but now I have seen like one or two pieces recently in, in some online shops that are very extremely sportswear oriented. Uh, I mean, they are like functional pieces actually. So I thought I might share it with you because uh, it might be interesting, like how can I implement some sportswear pieces in my more chic or more sophisticated uh, clothing and wardrobe and when I saw these pieces I was like okay I, I will just order them unfortunately they haven't arrived yet two of them I have ordered so let's have a look at three pieces I love extremely and if you have another piece you might want to tell me about that is very streetwear but you are able to like implement it into your very personal style and make it look like very chic and cool tell me about it because I'd really like to know what else is there in the sportswear industry that I still do not know and yeah, will have to know. So let's start right away. So the first thing I'm picking is a shoe and first of all when I saw it um, I wasn't expecting it to be a normal shoe because it looks like a slipper and I wasn't associating the North Face with any shoes at all. Uh, I mean I looked at their online shop and it seems like they are like only producing these very functional shoes um shoes i don't feel any connection to but um these are like for people who really like to do sports you know not even like the cool nike and adidas ones it's like you get a hike with these yeah you gotta walk with these they're, they have a certain functionality because as we know the reeboks and essex for example these classical joggers we know them as normal shoes now but these ones i mean they didn't they don't look good i didn't like the uh, the other shoes but this slipper looks so cool because actually it's just it's just a miniature of this down coat down jacket everyone's wearing of the north face and this looks like the shoe version of it and i haven't seen a shoe like that before i remember like in 2008 or something when montclair made a boot out of like down and was padded and i loved it and i got it and everybody was like damn you're wearing a padded coat on your knees and I was like yes I do and this slipper really reminded me of these but the better version and I think it's like a very practical shoe first of all a friend of mine got these if we were talking about the quality she said it's incredibly comfortable and it has really good quality and it is like not as it's it's pretty inexpensive uh, it's not like the sh usual shoes or sneakers and first of all I thought they're like house slippers but apparently they are not so you can wear them outside and I think it will look pretty cool with like some loose wool pants and a blazer of it and then you're just wearing these like down padded slippers no one's wearing because I haven't seen anybody with them I have seen that they are sold out in many many shops and even at their own online shop uh, they only had like several sizes left so either it's a very old shoe that I just have discovered uh, or it's, it was a trend I wasn't aware of I don't know um, I'm not sure about it oh my grandpa neighbor is he's always wearing this adidas jacket I mean he lives in this super cool flat but 
I, I guess that he was a sports dude when he was younger. I mean, he must be like 75 or something, but he's like very fit. But and sometimes if he sees me again watching him, he um, he's uh, he's going to his curtains and like stop watching me. You know, this is a bit like you. I just like watching neighbors, you know, is it, is it creepy? I don't know. It's not that I like to stalk, you know, it's just like I like to see what other people are doing. Yeah, and he just left, okay. Uh, anyway, this is a shoe I ordered for myself. I haven't found them for women. I'm, I'm sure they have them for women, but the smallest size for men starts with 39, and if you have like huge feet as I do, uh, you can just order these ones. Uh, but they are pretty wide I heard so it's not really true to size I, I I cannot wait for them and I'm like yeah I just cannot wait to wear them because I think it will like elevate a look into a more uh, way cooler version and I cannot even I mean I love my new balance but I cannot see them anymore you know all these Diana pics on Instagram etc so I'm pretty happy that I got these and I think that I will like skip a lot of sneakers I was forced to wear because I didn't have any other comfy shoes so I'm very happy about that one so as I said coming to piece number two I'm not the biggest fan of sweatshirts um and I think what is like my biggest problem with them is that no matter how beautiful they are and there are like so many good ones you know like the thick ones that are even you know like have another inlay and have something interesting about them it always looks like you're going to you know you're going for groceries and um, as a typical girl who's always freezing like ex extremely and I think that's not even normal and uh, what I found and this is actually a funny story because I was just like freezing so hard and um, I mean it was another day a typical winter day when it's sunny and you're like oh my god it looks like 20 degrees and then you go out and it's like minus two and I hate this winter sun actually, I don't know what we have from it, I mean at least it can rain, if, when it's cold I mean you can rain, I mean why do we see the sun then, I don't have to see the sun, so anyway so much about the water situation and sun situation in Germany if you care about that, but again I was freezing and I was outside and I just had a blazer and then I went to Muji which is of course one of our favorite shops and um, before we had Uniqlo we had Muji you know there wasn't anything else and there wasn't another Japanese brand that was selling like this minimalistic and very basic approach items anyway and they had these fleece jackets and fleece is something I very strongly remember uh, from my early childhood you know I think you were wearing fleece in the 90s you know and putting it around your hips when it was getting warmer Anyway, I got this fleece jacket and then I realized, well, there are so many brands. I got, I saw the Patagonia ones, again, the North Face ones. Um, the Nike ones were like a little too sporty for me. Uh, I think because Nike is being implemented in so many wardrobes so often uh, as a regular fashion piece, I, I feel like this typical functionality is missing, you know, this rawness. You know, for example, if I, I remember like two or three years ago when I went to a garden shop to get this vest, you know, that was like, that we all saw from Virgil and stuff, you know, you ha still had to go to the garden center. And, um, you know, this is something I'm always looking forward to, to find something that is still raw and not instrumentalized by the fashion industry yet. And I feel like Nike products, no matter how functional and not cool they want to be, they're always cool. So that's why I skip them and don't wear them. Does that make any sense? You know, like not wanting to wear functional pieces that turn into fashion pieces because you still want to interpret them on your own. I think that makes sense. So I like it. And again, I wear it with wool pants and I would wear it with leather slippers and definitely not the North Face ones beneath uh, because you can elevate your look again and turn it into something different with a single piece. And this is something men and women and everybody else uh, can definitely wear and it's very easy and it's functional and it keeps you warm so I'm okay with fleece jackets also. So coming to the third piece that is actually something very simple. It is uh, an accessory and it has its roots in something very functional but we also don't use it as that anymore. I'm talking about something I saw I think in the Prada 17 18 collections on the runway and I was blown away and uh, I always had an addiction with socks 
Um, it's not, you know, that I'm uh, having any fetishes or something, but if you have, I mean, that's also fine. Uh, but I just realized that I love socks, especially when you see them, you know, if I have a look where I don't know when seeing my socks, I'm wearing like the really bad ones because you also have to wear them. You cannot just throw them away. So I keep them. But my good cashmere or the wool socks are worn when people are seeing my socks because it's like, you know, it gets like, I don't know, how much percent is it? Like 10% of your body is also the sock. So it's a, why is your shoe more important than your sock? You know, you, if you see your leg, you know, it's like it, it, it has at least like this space and uh, people see it and I see it. So I want it to be beautiful. And when I saw these so socks, I was like, okay, I can recall this from somewhere. And um, it's funny because a very famous uh, German socks company, Falke, produces these and these are actually just skiing socks. And I got myself like two pairs, one in black and one in red black, uh, to wear under dresses. And ever since I wear these socks, um, so yeah, everyone was asking me where I had them from and I was wearing them parallel to this Prada collection and people asked me, oh, are there all those, these Prada socks? And I think the Prada ones were like $250 or something and the Falke ones are like 30 euros or something, maybe even less, I don't know, something around like that. And other than that, they just keep you like really warm and I still wear them on winter times. But it's pretty cool if you're wearing like a longer shorts or something and then you have like these knee-high socks or you're wearing slippers, you know, maybe you can wear them with your North Face slippers. They look extremely cool and awkward and people are like really irritated when they see them. I, I think I have a, I, a something on Instagram with it, I will show you. Um, it looks extremely cool, it's very cheap and it really elevates your look, you know. If you have like... I would I usually wear it with a very monochromatic look, you know, if I have like this wool skirt and wear like a turtleneck and then you have like these socks and then you wear like loafers, you know, like church or I don't know, almonds or something under it. Uh, it looks extremely cool. It is, it still gives you this functionality feeling, you know, you still have your sophistication guaranteed, but it's like more interesting because I also feel sometimes boring, even though I look, like a look, but it's like very monochrome. If it's just the same color on color, it always looks elegant, but it's not in interesting to me. And it needs to be disrupting. You know, something in your look has to be disrupting if you want it to look interesting. So these are my three pieces. Um, I don't know if this was like revolutionizing for you or enlightening. Um, I think it's still easy to implement them in your style. Maybe you already have a personal and very sporty style. So you can also teach me if you have other ideas how I can implement it. Uh, but I think this is like the right dose for me, like the shoes, a little accessory and maybe a zipper. So this is all from me. But I think it's super interesting and I love to still look through these very sporty websites and trying to search for fashionable pieces. So tell me down below if you liked this video or and if I also should maybe try to talk about a different, different, the German, if I should talk about a different uh, genre the next time and like look like, hey, does this industry has fashionable pieces for us, you know? Uh, I think it's super cool and I also bought some extremely cool things, like two pieces I want to show in my next video. So if you like this, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and um, just like me in general and love me. And I will be going home. Now this is by the way a, a Uniqlo look. This is from their, um, from Uniqlo U, you know, the, uh, the Le Mer collection, so it's extremely good. You should you should definitely check it out. You, yep. And then you have this very um, again. I mean, I think <laughs> this is very typical Le Mer, right? This fabric. This uh, this is definitely um, cotton, and this is like another polyester, but I like it. So this is the look. So I'll see you to the next one. Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Today I want to spend a day with you. No, of course not. I'm not a vlogs person, so so maybe he is right. Maybe I am a little creepy. So uh, maybe I should just the next time make a video from this perspective because it's a bit easier than to arrange this little arrangement. And yes, 